Hey guys, Justin here coming at you from the 2x4 test tent. And you know what time it is. It's time for another Grow Light unboxing and review. And this one is another one that's just going wall to wall in this uh, 2x4 tent. It is, uh, it's looking like a big one. This one's coming to us today from. There we are, Raymatics. Awesome, that's actually the same company that makes my current veg light here. This is a great veg light. This thing is amazing. This is the what I would consider a full spectrum uh, veg or flower, but more leaning towards veg, uh, but it'll work for both uh, light. So I'm using it for veg, and then this, what they sent me, is the flower version so if you're like me and you have a veg tent and a separate flower tent then here's your veg light here's your flower light if you want to do one light for both really you can choose either or you can choose this one and it may be a little bit more geared towards veg you may get a little bit frostier output towards the end a little bit shorter plants because it's got blue um, and where you get to this one here where it has more red uh, you're definitely going to have taller plants, maybe a little bit more yield, uh, possibly, just because of more more red in the spectrum. Uh, but they're both going to push the about the same amount of wattage. So wattage to wattage, you're looking at about the same. You may just push a little bit different um, flowers out between the two. It would be interesting to, to do a grow with this one uh, in flower and this one in flower and see what the differences are. That would be pretty sweet. But uh, let's uh, let's crack this open and uh, see what's going on. Of course, we got the uh, watt meter, we got the meter meter, we got the uh, heat meter, and the par meter, and the katana. All right, we'll take that. I already cut the sides because I figured that would be pretty tough to get to on this here. So let's get all the way down on that. Works great. I love this thing. It's nice. All right, pop this open. We got some packaging. You know how I love packaging. I get enough of it. There we go. There we go. I do like these uh, form-fitting foam things. These are pretty sweet really keeps stuff super secure. When a company uses those, you know they are uh, they mean business about keeping their stuff safe. So I always like to see that. Oh, we got, oh wow. Damn, they busted out the fatty bubble wrap. I think this is the, the biggest bubble wrap I've ever seen in my life. This is a man's bubble wrap right here. Holy crap, I'm gonna have fun popping this later, no doubt. This has the awesome uh, dimmer. I love this dimmer. I'm actually using it right now, right up at the top of the tent there. Dimmer. Works great, hooks up. It's got a, a hole in the side. You can just pop out and then it'll hook right through the pole up there. Works excellent, I love it. So we've got the dimmer and some excellent bubble wrap. All right, what do we got? We got, oh, here's the uh, specs and stuff here. Now this is a, a modular system, so you can just run the single hammer or hammer plus, and it's 240 watts. This is the, uh, the hammer, and then this is the, the hammer plus in here. Uh, you can also get uh, two of them, or three of them, or four of them, up to four and that'd be 960 watts total on that that is killing the game uh, that's a really 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 powerful light you can see the uh, the weight and everything all the uh, particulars uh, all these do come with a three-year manufacturer's warranty from Raymatics which is nice and uh, you can see kind of how they do their their brackets here so it makes them modular when you get multiple ones they come, um, it comes with a bracket that this hooks onto and then it, it swivels back and forth, which this is one of my favorite features 
of these lights is this, this swivel feature. Really, really cool because you can just angle it where you need it. Sometimes you have uh, a spot that needs a little bit more lights or a spot that needs a little bit less. And there it shows you a diagram of, of if you have all four hooked up. Or if you had just two, you could just do two or three. <laughs> Like I said, it's a, a totally modular setup. Really cool. Uh, Rheumatics.com, if you want to uh, check that out. It's got the link below to uh, go down there. Uh, discount code uh, below as well uh, for a little bit of a discount. Let's uh, see what else we got in here. Ooh, what the hell? That is really cool looking. I've never seen that before. I'm actually going to pull that out of here. I've never seen that. So we've got power on this end out to multiple on this. I've Okay, this is going to be definitely some new stuff to me. They always have the coolest, the coolest toys, man. I feel like the Joker and Ray Maddox is Batman. He always has those wonderful toys like this and that cool ass dimmer. Oh, and, and he sent the koozie. I get another koozie. Love it. Awesome. Then we got the power cord, of course. Standard power cord. They didn't do anything crazy with this. Nope. It is thick, though. Good power cord. What else we got? Looks like just the light left. So this one's pretty good size oh wow it's actually I'm gonna be able to lift this out with one one hand I believe let me fold a corner down over here and over here I think this is gonna come out pretty easily oh yeah hell yeah I like how light this light is it, the weight is so evenly distributed same thing with this one I mean it's super thin and the whole thing is metal, so it doesn't, uh, it, it disperses the heat really, really well, and no, no part of the fixture really heats up a ton. Um, I really, really dig this, uh, this setup. I like, I like what Rheumatics has got going on, so I use them for my bench light. I, I need to get more space, man. I want to run this somewhere, too. Pop the, uh, sides off here. Which way is this going to come out of the bag? Looks like this way. This is all fun to do with one hand here. Actually, you know what? Let's just do one of these here. All right, here we are. There is a box below the box that was part of the box. It's a box in a box. Wow, okay, so let's see what is in this box. Because I honestly don't know what is in this. We're gonna we're gonna really find out together. Oh, no sides are strong. I should have cut the sides ahead of time. I knew it was gonna be rough since it is wall to wall in the tent. All right, get that cut. This is packed extremely well. Okay, so what do we got? Looks like another one. There's another one in here. And it looks like the rail kit I was talking about as well. So yeah, we've got the uh, we've got the double. Alright. We're gonna blow this two by four apart. <laughs> Woo, 480 watts. 
up in this beast. I'm gonna blow this thing up. This is so nice. Yeah, two of them, man. Holy shit. Alright, so this is a cool surprise. This guy, he's always, always surprising me with the coolest shit. Let me set you down here for a second and take a quick look at the packaging. Beautiful packaging, isn't it? Super nice. <laughs> there we go, okay. So we've got dimmer housing. We got some Allen wrenches, hanging kit, and the mounting bar. So this is for the two-piece mounting kit. And it looks like it slides back and forth. So slides back and forth, plus they, they each tilt side to side. Hell yeah, that is really cool. <laughs> All right, anything else in here, hiding in here? No, nothing there. Just double check and make sure this guy's sneaky. Putting a box in a box with a whole nother light in it. All right, cool. So, let's get all this stuff put together and hooked up in here and see what happens. This is gonna be killer. Absolutely all killer. Right, guys, we are so back. Right back. Got this all hooked up. Man, this was, uh, this was a feat. Look at this hardware. There's some serious hardware here. This is actually a really, really nice kit. The bar works really well. Uh, you can uh, slide both of these units back and forth. Uh, you really want to screw them down once you get them uh, in place where you want so they're not, not really flopping around. Uh, but I didn't uh, tighten these uh, here so that I can turn and angle the lights this way as I choose, which is really cool. Uh, I'll show you in a second here on the par meter. You can really, really influence uh, the spread of this light um, just by angling this out. And there's no way that I can really test a max par for this light for that reason. Because there's always going to be a different way that you can set this up. And I'm not going to test like 50 different ways to do it. Um, you can move this all the way out to the uh, to the end of this bar and to the end of that bar and have the lights all the way to the edge and then you could angle them in a little bit and lock them in position that way um, you can have them like I have it where it's just kind of in the middle of I split it up into like one foot and one foot and they're both in the middle of that one foot uh, to cover it perfectly so that's the way I've done it um, you could also go the other way and you could put them both really close to the middle and angle them outward a little bit if you wanted to. Uh, there's just so many different ways uh, that you can use this light and it does make a huge difference on the par meter, uh, the way you're angling this and, and the whole thing. So uh, just a really, really cool setup uh, for people that like to just geek out with their meter and, and tune everything in. Um, this is the uh, the 22 inch bar. There's also a 40, <clears throat> I believe, 42 inch bar available. Uh, this is really supposed to be in a 4x4 tent. Like this is going to explode the shit out of this uh, this 2x4 tent. This is 480 watts at the wall, um, which we can see right here. 480 watts, dead on what they promise, exactly what they promise. And that's cranked up all the way. Uh, the lowest it'll go is about 42 watts, uh, turned down all the way. And that's, uh, that's a pretty big, big difference um, to go from 42 to four, 480. So it's definitely uh, a light that you can use from uh, even cloning, uh, veg, flower, all the way through. Um, you can see it's not too hot of a color. It's not like super yellow or anything. So it is going to be a very good full spectrum light. Um, the nice thing about the uh, the Hammer Plus, because I do have the Hammer 
in here. I took it down because I, I had to put this one up, but um, the hammer is um, Phillips diodes, and this one you're upgrading to uh, the Samsung uh, 301Bs, and then even the reds, even the red diodes down here that are in this thing are Samsung diodes. So all the way through, you got nothing but Samsung high quality super nice diodes and then it's all got this uh, protective plastic coating over it that does a great job of focusing the light and protecting the diodes from any sort of humidity and spray uh, you could spray directly at this light and it wouldn't really affect it at all just uh, an excellent looking setup I mean look at that that is just a beaut covers the shit out of this 2x4 that's for sure get that bigger bar you'd be uh, you'd be set for a 4x4 with this kit and then here's how everything hooked up here uh, these are set up for their their x4 or not x4 I guess it's plus 4 that's what it is plus 4 so this is the uh, the plus 2 the hammer plus 2 and you can go all the way to a hammer plus four with the hardware that they give you. So that's uh, what goes to the dimmer, and then that's what goes to power. And then that goes down to the light here. So pretty, pretty easy setup, pretty slick. Um, everything's uh, very uh, watertight, and just um, it's just good. It's just high quality cabling. I like it. I like looking at this giant ass. Uh, strut bar that they have here too like that's some that's some hardware <laughs> I did have to provide my own rope ratchets they don't provide rope ratchets they I guess they assume that you're gonna um, do your own thing with that they do provide um, a hanging kit uh, which really just kind of works with with this over here you hook it to those and then you can hang it from that and that's for the single ones uh, as for this um, I'm you could flip this thing over uh, do it the other way and then you could mount this to the ceiling um, you could do like I'm doing here and have it hooked up like this and have rope ratchets there's just the versatility of this this setup is um, is pretty much mind-blowing and endless it's pretty cool um, here's the uh, sticker for anybody that wants to see what's on the sticker you can see hammer plus 240 each and it is accurate 100 percent accurate 240 each it's just a um, it it performs as 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 what am I trying to say as impressive as it looks. That was hard to spit out there. I may be a little stoned playing with this fun stuff, but let's uh, let's take a look and uh, and see what uh, what the meter says. What do you guys think? It's at 16 inches as usual. Let me. Let me prove that to everybody here, so there is no skepticism. 16 inches, bam. So here we go. Drum roll. Bam! 1340 at 16 inches. Ridiculous absolutely ridiculous and with this setup moving it around is not really gonna matter that much it's not gonna fall off a whole lot so let's uh, let's go ahead and we'll move it around a bit we'll go over here to the very edge looking at I'm trying not to bump the light try not to block the light 995 almost a thousand on the corner I'm sure if I if I move this a little bit it'd go up to a thousand yep just by moving the reflection so that it's reflecting properly a thousand at the side go to the corner very very corner as far as I can stuff it Nine 
That is awesome. Let's try the near side here in the middle. 1100. Yeah, so pretty much if you want to blow up your tent, uh, this is the kit for you. 1300 in the middle, 1000 at the side, pretty much 1000 at the corners, 1100 this side. That's uh that's giant colas um, you could raise this up even a little bit because that's gonna be pretty intense unless you've got your setup dialed in and you've got the nutrients dialed in that's gonna be too powerful uh, for most people so you'd want to move this up to probably 18 to 20 inches they suggest 18 inches on the website so that's probably actually about right um, I usually like to test everything at 16 inches uh, just to kind of get um, a, a benchmark between all the different lights and uh, be a little aggressive on uh, on the readings and stuff see what they can actually do sometimes when you push them down a little lower you can really get some performance but the uh, the edges are lacking but with this type of light where it goes all the way to the edge you really don't lose a lot when you go out to the edge it's it's a really nice setup here's a bonus reading for you guys here this is uh, about 46 inches off the canopy, well off the, off the floor which would be representing the canopy. And we're looking at, I don't want to block the light, 641. <laughs> that's still plenty, almost four feet away, and that's still plenty to grow fat colas. Plenty. And that's all the way up. That's cranked all the way up. Go to the side. <clears throat> 503. Yeah, so 500 to 630. You're still going to be growing fat colas. Even four feet away from this sucker. Four feet. Still pumping out fatty colas. That's killer. Uh, it's not uh, super hot. It is definitely warm. Uh, it's much warmer than the other uh, hammer, the regular hammer that I have. So this is definitely uh, putting out some heat. Let me grab the uh, the gun here. We'll see where we're sitting here. 135, 31. Hit the sticker. 123. This actually should show up pretty well because it's white and it's uh, kind of like a, um, a coarse matte finish. It's not shiny. So 130s. Driver box is a little bit cooler. But definitely pumping out some, some heat. Any of these fanless units are going to do that. Like, for sure. Any of these fanless units are going to do that. That one's right in, right on par. That's what they're meant to do. Um, you're, it's, it's, that's why it has all this metal, because it's going to spread the heat out through all of this, uh, leach it off of the diodes, and then it's just going to rise off of here into your grow space, and then you have to suck it out from there. Uh, so just don't set anything on top of here, like this sticker. I'm not going to leave this sticker on top of here. Um, don't set anything, any meters or any important things or really anything on top of there. It's a grow light, it's not a, a shelf. Um, don't be afraid of the heat. Um, I run my other one right up against the side of the tent and over here on the side it's not really that hot. It really just gets hot in the middle over here. I'll show you on the, uh, on the very side. It cools off quite a bit. down to 120 the tents 105 next to there so yeah it definitely is cool even right up against the tent I mean you got to think our body 98.6 and this is 100 degrees so it's basically just hot, a little hotter than you touching it so not not too bad at all it is definitely 130 here is pretty warm uh, to the touch for sure you don't want to be uh, resting anything on there, especially your hands. 
but this is a, a damn impressive kit I gotta say um, I thought he was just gonna send one of these out for me to test I did not know he was gonna send two of them with the bar and the whole thing um, this is really damn impressive but like I was saying with uh, the meter like now we've got this in the middle I can move this one and manipulate the meter so if I move it towards the meter look at that 1440 or if I if I have a spot over here on the side and I want to make it less of a, uh, a deficit I can tilt it the other way and look at that bam so really you can you can do a lot with this and then you can lock it in place where you like it and when I when I tilt this outward obviously the center is gonna get a little bit less light so let's see where that where that happens so I'll tilt it to like right there and we'll move this over here I'll just tilt it back see now we're at 1204 about 1200 down from 1340 or 50 wherever it was but it, it it raised up on the side so you can really just tune this this light to your canopy uh, whether you've got the the two foot bar or the four foot bar you're gonna be able to to tune this and lock it into place exactly how you want it it's a really really cool and versatile setup so uh, check out the uh, links below if you want to uh, pick one of these up for yourself or you want to learn more uh, discount code is also below um, shout out to Ray Maddox for knocking it out of the park with another light uh, that is uh, making me wish that I had more tents to grow inside of um, I have so many amazing lights now that I just I, I, I really want to flower with all of them so badly and this is another one that I just want to put a bunch of plants under and just rock the fuck out of them so really really got me excited on this one it's a it's a bitchin light so thanks a lot Ray Maddox and I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, the review um, yeah I know I did so till next time happy growing